you know, we have to get conspiratorial and we look at the Iran Contra. The CIA was trading drugs with Nicaraguans for guns. We were giving them guns and then they were taking that cocaine and they were flying it into Mena, Arkansas, which Bill Clinton happened to be the governor of that state. And they were taking those drugs and they were putting them in Florida, they were putting in California, Freeway, Ricky Ross. So they created the crack epidemic. So the people, the same people that did that, they're creating the problems that we have today. So it's just a new drug for a new era. I mean, I grew up in a world where, and I, speaking for myself, I actually believe that conspiracy theories were the way that dumb, uninformed people explained a complex world. Yeah. You couldn't understand what was actually happening. You resorted to a conspiracy theory, and that was a mark of a low IQ. Of course. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. Now, I always think this. The more informed, the smarter the person, the more likely they are to be connecting the dots that you're connecting. So you grew up in a world where people just like assumed that the system was not on the level, I think. Well, it's called cognitive dissonance. It's like, you know the government is, you know, has done corrupt stuff. You know there's classified levels of intelligence that you'll never be a part of, but you have cognitive dissonance thinking that the government has your back. They don't. It's a personal people control system. They want you to control us. And that's one of the biggest parts of why they want to keep you depressed. Because Tucker, when you're constantly depressed, you're in what is called fight or flight. So you, your hormone response is constant cortisol. And that's why Brian Stelter, those guys, they constantly have the ticker on CNN, how many people die, how many people die. Because people get addicted to that hormonal response. And once you're in that fear state of fight or flight, you can't see the forest for the tree right in front of your face. Yes. So then they can literally, like a dog with a treat, they can make you do whatever you want. And that treat is just more trauma, what I call trauma-based trauma -based mind, mind control, just more fear tactics in order to control you. So that's what's happening now is the mainstream media uses fear to control us. And that's the same mechanism that the government uses. I couldn't agree more.